Konnichiwa, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Z-Boy X8 here, and I'm here with another playthrough today. But first, plot. This is Metro City. Within the walls of the city lives... Uh-huh. The daughter of the mayor, Jessica. Her beauty radiates... I'm guessing that's the word. Radiates throughout the city and gives the citizens the... Uh, the power to survive. But now a villain attempts to have... This beacon of light all to himself because he's a selfish prick with a robot arm. I can't believe that I've actually fallen in love. Because that's so hard to believe. With the girl, she will be mine. Creepy or not? A couple of days later, dot dot dot. What? Jessica kidnapped? What have you done to her, Cody? Me? This is the work of the Mad Gear Gang. What do you think, guy? Yes, there's not a moment to spare. Let's go! I like Guy. Guy's cool. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is a playthrough of Mighty Final Fight on the Nintendo Entertainment System, released in 1993. Holy shit, four years before I was born. Damn. <laughs> but yeah. There are three characters to play as in this game because it's basically like an 8-bit version, an 8-bit chibi-fied version of Final Fight on the Super Nintendo. Uh, we get to play as three characters in this. We got Cody, Guy, and Hagar. Each with their own special abilities and with their own sort of special fighting styles. Uh, the way I'm going to be playing it is that I'm going to take turns with each of the characters. So, like, every level that we go to is going to be with a different character. Like, level 1 is going to be... Cody. Level 2 is going to be Guy, level 3 is going to be Hagar, and so on and so forth. Um, but you guys may be thinking, oh yeah, like you can just swap out characters on the fly, right? No. No. The character you choose at the beginning is the character you stay as for the rest of the game. So I had to play this game three times. Granted, it's not that hard. I mean, you could pretty much beat it. I mean, I beat it three times in like within how long? It took me like a couple hours. It took me like three hours to beat it with the three characters, mainly because I was having trouble with Hagar, because getting used to his style was pretty dumb. But anyway, we are now playing as Cody, the awesome, tough Street Fighter, who is also in Street Fighter. Bazing! <laughs> but bad jokes aside, Cody is a great brawler, like seriously. Um, in terms of the three characters, he's probably the most well-rounded in terms of actual offense and speed because um, he's got pretty good range and speed as well as attack power. Um, as you guys can see at the bottom there, there's a level up meter, there's a bar, there's experience. What's that about? Well, in Mighty Final Fight, there is an experience meter that when you level it up, and when you level up, you level up your character, as in like you get stronger, your health bar gets a little bigger, at least I think that's what happens. Uh, your health bar gets bigger, your attacks get a little stronger, and when you reach level 4, every character gets their own special, like, move. Um, I'll get into those when we actually get them, but every, every character has their own unique special move, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. And yeah, I'm very close to a level up right now, and every time you level up, your health is just completely restored. So... Yeah, that's very useful later on in the game, actually. See, there you go. <laughs> now I am level 2. And yeah, this game is pretty damn cool. It's a pretty good beat-em-up, if I may say so myself. It's not too hard to actually get into. It's pretty easy, actually. Yeah, busting through walls. I also love Cody's strut there. It's pretty badass. See these barrels? Don't jump over them. Don't avoid them. Hit them. Because they give you food items a lot of the time. What does food give you? Food gives you experience points. I wish I knew that the first time I played this game because I jumped over those barrels and like an idiot, I missed out on experience points. You can level up pretty early if you play your cards right, so... Yeah. These big brutes, don't let them hit you. They hit, like, they hit so damn hard, as you can no doubt tell. Like, look at that. That's just from two hits. I mean, granted, when I turn to, like, level 3, 4-ish, it'll probably do less damage. But, and these boxer guys, I swear, they're so annoying to fight. I mean, I love boxing with these guys. Oh my god, they're outboxers, so it's annoying. 
See, look at that. He's outboxing. Bastard. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys can no doubt tell, this game is a little more cartoony than what Final Fight would normally be. And there's the boss. Um, it's because I'm guessing in Japan, whatever mighty games they have, like Mighty Gunvolt, which is awesome, by the way. Um, they I guess they like chibify them a bit. <laughs> I'm Thrasher, ruler of this city. Bow down before me. Nah. Don't you know I rule the streets? Why do you sound like Macho Man Randy Savage? And no, you look like a punk ass. <laughs> Those who offend me must die. Yeah, there are two. Well, as you can see there. Um, there are certain things that can happen when fighting bosses in this game. Um, for example, Thrasher here, if you, like, don't acknowledge him as a badass, then his health will decrease a little bit, which is pretty damn cool. And for the next boss coming up, because I don't remember if it happened to me or not, but for the next boss coming up in the next stage, um, if you go to him with low health, he'll replenish your health. That's badass. I like that. I like that a lot. But yeah, the, de the way to deal with Thrasher, at least quickly anyway, is to try to get him... Don't do this! <laughs> Don't go near him when he's about to get up because he has some serious wake-up game. You see when he's there jumping in the corner like that? That's your opportune time to go in there with a combo and just wail on him. Not there when he's on the ground, when he's in the air. Like right there? Boom. Done. And just like that, round six is... Round... Round six. Round one is done. <laughs> and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done with this level. I'll see you guys in the next part where we take on the mean streets with Guy. Z-Boy X8, out.